Hey guys, how's it going? Celtic Reviews, and as I'm still recovering, I uh, I decided to make this little quick video on my thoughts on how the internet's reacting, and my general opinions on Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. Now, I have been very critical of Rockstar, even, well, mainly towards my friends, with them re-releasing Grand Theft Auto for the third time on the next-gen hardware. But the re-releasing of the older games was something I was really looking forward to, because... Honestly, the last port we had was on the PS4, and it wasn't really all that good. It just was the basic PS2 ports with trophies. There was nothing really new added to it. And, of course, we got the shitty San Andreas remaster that was just literally a carbon con That was literally just a mobile version ported over to Xbox 360 and then to PS3 and all that. And it had a ton of bugs and glitches. But this one looks like it's actually, as you can see in the trailer, it's actually being remastered. This is a remastered take on the original trilogy. And after reading through the comments, and that's the same what people were saying. People were saying how the character models look ugly, how they could have done more to advance the graphics, how this should have been like the Mafia remake. I even watched a guy on YouTube who said that no, he was he put Mafia Definitive Edition in with like, oh, this game should have looked like this. No, this was a good remaster, and I'm I'm thinking that that's a remake. There's a difference. See, and I, I think that's what people don't understand is that they want they want a pure remake, and if you want a pure remake of these three games, that's going to take time. But even still, with this being just a remaster, as you see in the trailer, it doesn't look horrible. In fact, I think it looks downright gorgeous. I think they really did just, it keeps the classic nostalgic like look of the games when I played them as a kid, but just updates it to make it look pretty. I mean, yeah, the character models are not the prettiest things, but it still looks good. And there are people who are saying that, now I do agree that Rockstar is lazy, but you, this is a good remaster. The only really problem I have with it is the price point. I really do... Th this game shouldn't be 60 It should be at least, at max, $40. But they're wanting to charge $20 for a game, which, is, no, that's, that's up to them. But I'm honestly excited for it. I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. I think it looks great. I mean, it, it's going to run 60 frames per second. It's going to have 4K resolution. It's going to be fun, and I cannot wait to play it and for the people who honestly thought that this game was going to be remastered in the Grand Theft Auto 5 engine the Rage engine because this is using Unreal you didn't realize that would have, like I said that would have taken years to do they, they were wanting to release this for the anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 3 which Grand Theft Auto 3 is now turning 20 years old but I mean, that, that, this is just my opinion. I know people have differences of opinions, but I just think a lot of people expected way too much from this the trilogy remaster. And like I said, I think the remaster looks great. I already pre-ordered my digital copy. It's on my Xbox preloaded right now. And I'm planning on just playing it and enjoying myself, reliving my childhood again. And hopefully they got back the songs for the soundtracks. Because I know Vice City had a lot of songs removed, but... Hopefully the soundtracks are intact, but anyways guys, that's going to be it for me. I'll talk to you guys next time.